I just have one quick question for everybody. Everybody seems to be going along with this without asking, without questioning where the source is coming from, without even an inkling of being defiant and saying, no, I'm not going to concur. I'm not going to, I'm not going to comply. But just ask yourself, with all of this nonsense about you can't say mom, you can't say dad, the children have to be referred to in pronouns and all this garbage and everything, where is this coming from? Who are the ones that are telling you what you can and you can't say? Is anybody even questioning this at all? Let alone, why are you why are you complying with it? You don't see how they're taking away everything from you? You can't say mom, you can't say dad, you can't say grandmother, you can't say this, you can't say that. That's just a crock. It's a crock. Why is everybody complying? Does anybody even have an inkling of curiosity as to where this is stemming from? Where it's coming from? Who are the ones that are telling you you can't say these things? Is anybody even curious? Is anybody inquiring? Is anybody doing any investigation as to the source of these alleged creatures telling you you can't say common words? You can't refer to your mother as mom? Are you out of your mind? Where does that end? I remember a long time ago, in a far-off land called the 1970s, where actually people made eye contact when they had conversations, and they had conversations of substance. That's a mind-blower, right? And nobody was staring at a cell phone. And everybody was just chill, man. Was it utopia? No. Was it heaven? No, of course not. But it was a heck of a lot better than it is these days, in a lot of ways. People actually read something called books, you know, instead of staring at a cell phone all day long. And they were actually humane. You know? They had impromptu conversations, which were beautiful. Strangers on the street, boom! Talk about music, talk about art, talk about politics, geopolitical situation in the world, you know? Economics, whatever it was. It certainly wasn't media-based. I can remember when I was a kid, Hollywood wouldn't even make it into the newspaper. That was something for the tabloids that you see at the checkout counter. That's, that's as far as that stuff got. Back then, it was called the news for a reason, because they were reporting the news. These were newsmen, news reporters. You know, it was, it, was, it was stories of substance. Political debates, you know, peace talks, things like that. Now it's infotainment. And people just, just go with it. They don't even question. And this is the same as that. You're not even questioning where this stuff is coming from. Who is it, the one telling you, you can't say mom and dad and he and she and this and you can't refer to this one as that and you can't refer Where's it all coming from? And why are you complying? You don't see that they're taking away the everything of everything from you? You know, I mean, it's clearly evident in that all of this abbreviation garbage. You can't say laugh out loud or best friend forever. It's all these, you know, and then what is it going to be after it's, it, it's syllables? It's clicks and whistles? Is that where it's going to get to? And then you're not allowed to say clicks and, and, and you're not allowed to do anything. And then you won't be allowed to blink or breathe or move. You see where this is going? And people comply because they're mindless. They can't think for themselves. That's why this small group gets away with murder, literally. Because people just don't change and they don't fight back and they don't say, I'm not, I, I'm not going to comply. Compliance is consent, by the way. You know? So if you are doing nothing about it, you're complying. Instead of saying, I'm not going to comply, I'm not going to be some trained chimp that you're going to order around like a robot and tell what to do and command. No. I'm going to be myself and speak my mind and, and, and say what I want to say. Freedom of speech. I think everybody keeps forgetting about that. That's why they're trying to take away the Constitution. If you haven't figured out what they're up to, it's very simple, folks. They're trying to turn the world into China. Because China is the paradigm. That's why they're digitizing the currency, modeling it after the Chinese social credit system. That's why you see more homeless now than ever before, because they want everybody dependent on the state. That's why they're secretly buying up all the property in the country, so you have nowhere to live. And they're telling you what you can say and what you can't say. Keep in mind that these are satanic, luciferian, cannibalistic pedophiles that are telling you you can't say mom and dad you know so just wrap your head around that for a few seconds and then ask yourself do you really want to comply with this with these pronouns and children cannot be addressed by their name given to them by their parents that's on their birth certificate you know it's 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 getting to be ridiculously insane
You know, so the question I put to you is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to comply and allow this insanity to just roll along and just steamroll everybody until everybody's flat and turns into a slave? Or are you going to just say no and not comply? Non-compliance is a glitch in the matrix if you haven't figured it out. And if there's enough of you out there doing that, they can't throw everybody in jail. They don't have the space. So figure it out, you know, seriously. Because it isn't going to stop there. They're going to go for full-on contact, so to speak. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but they're trying to acclimate you to exactly what they are entirely. That's where this is headed. So, you know, take a stand and say, no, you know, I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to, I'm not going to care what people think because it took me a long time in my life to get to where I am, to honestly say, I don't concern myself with people. I have no concern with people. Only concern is myself. I'm not being selfish. I'm being selfless because it's self-love. I'm not saying I disregard people as if they're nothing. I'm just saying I could care less what you think about me because the only opinion that matters about me is my own. Years ago, it wasn't like that. I used to live for other people, people pleasing, and I was a slave. You're always going to be a prisoner of that if you live for other people, their approval, their acceptance, their validation. You know, oh, please like me. Please love me. Please accept me. Please allow me to win the popularity contest in your eyes. You know? That never ends. So the question is, I mean, are you honestly going to allow this? This insanity, this lunacy, this, this, this chaos that they're trying to ensue in the minds of the masses? They're implanting this insanity, man. Common core mathematics. I mean, come on. For God's sake. One plus one equals two. It doesn't, it doesn't take a 45-minute equation. You don't see what they're doing. They're complicating the simplicity of life to frustrate you and get you aggravated. That is the intent of these programs in these systems. Political correctness, that's garbage. And all of the other stuff that goes with it. Critical race theory, BLM, Antifa, all this stuff is coming from the same place, by the way, if you haven't figured it out. It's all the same. Divide and conquer, divide and conquer, divide and conquer. Everything that you see transpiring on the news is all pre-orchestrated chaos. Predominantly most of it. Some of it just happens. But most of it is orchestrated in advance, if you haven't figured it out. And that's what they're doing. You know, so that's the premise of my channel. It isn't just to speak about spirit and metaphysical, you know, dimensional planes of consciousness. Because none of that means anything if you find yourself in a camp with a food pellet online, you know, waiting for your next... Uh, meal being served to you by a government agent. Because that's what they have intended, to take away your everything. So I sincerely hope that this message has reached somebody and, you know, had that little light bulb in your head come off and say, yep, I think the dude on the, on the, on the video is right, you know. I'm not going to comply. Because if it starts with you, then it, then it can spread. Then you have a whole nation of people are non-compliant and there isn't a freaking thing they can do about it. But when one does, they all do it because it's what I refer to as the monkey see, monkey do mentality. That's like you see a whole bunch of people standing around. It's a very tense situation. It just takes that one person to throw that rock through the store window. Then everybody's inhibitions have been washed away and then they all follow. That's how riots start. Exactly. So it can also operate in reverse. You know, be the one that says no. It's like dominoes on a table. They're just freestanding. They're not securely set on that table. They're not drilled in or, or glued in. So you just blow on it and you'll knock them right over. You know, and then once that finger of darkness hits that first one, they all fall down from that inertia, that chain reaction. It's just passing through them. So be that single solitary domino that refuses to fall and breaks that chain of inertia, that chain reaction. And that's where it stops got to draw the line with this stuff folks because they're not going to stop it'll just get more insane more absurd more crazy you know you can see i've never seen the world like this before but again as before if i've said in my my videos you've got the power to change it and they they know you do they just don't want you to know you do that's why they keep all of these things from you you know they confuse you with all of that nonsense they have popular culture in the media, mainstream, 
that's the hypnosis. None of them is stepping up to the plate and saying, hey, you know what you really are? Such and so forth. Because then if you do know, then you don't need them. So I sincerely hope that I've reached at least one person with this video, you know, and just pass it on, you know. Absolutely, because if this is allowed to continue, you won't have a freedom anymore.